Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. I hope you're all having a great day. I just wanted to make a quick update video on my current Nordic American tankers position. I was on vacation and I just got back a couple of days ago and I see since I've been gone it's had a pretty decent move up. So I'm going to give you my take on it and what it means for me going forward. Now before I left I was up just a little bit on my NAT position, but we didn't get that strong move up off the 50 day simple moving average or the blue line on the chart like I was hoping for. So while I was away, I was expecting price to fade down slowly, and that's exactly what happened. Before I left, I put in a limit order to buy a few hundred more shares of Nat at $4.21, but price failed to fade that low, so I'm still holding my original position. I see on May 26th and on June 2nd, it came within a few cents of executing, so I just missed out on picking up some more. Then on June 5th, we got the move up I was hoping for. Now from a technical level, this move up over all the moving average looks very constructive. NAT is making a possible bullish flag formation, and if we can get a strong move up out of it, this could be the start of the next leg up. Overall, this move, flag or no flag, looks very bullish, especially since it's held above the moving averages so far. The only thing that concerns me is the lack of strong volume. On the big updates a couple days ago, as you can see on the chart, the latest green volume bars barely stuck out at all. A lot of times, a lack of volume in a pattern that looks like this can be a bull trap. Let's hope that's not the case this time. Now, if I flip over to the weekly chart, you can see this recent move up looks very bullish. NAT is moving up nicely from the two-year base it put in, and the 8, the 21, and the 50-day moving averages are all trending up. And if I zoom in closer, you can see the stock had a nice move up when it found support at the 21-day moving average. So that's going to be the most important moving average that I'm watching on the weekly chart going forward. Now, if Nat has a strong move down through that moving average, then I'll probably reevaluate my position and most likely exit the trade. But I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. Now, I just wanted to touch base real quick on the oil inventories because it looks like they are still rising. They are reported to have risen unexpectedly by almost 6 million barrels last week to a record high of 538.1 million barrels because all the Saudi Arabian tankers are starting to flood in. They also reported that gas stockpiles grew more than expected as well to 258.7 million barrels. Stockpiles which include diesel and heating oil also increased by 1.6 million barrels, so we're running out of room for everything. If this keeps up a little longer, NAT is going to wish they had twice as many tankers. And I just wanted to make one more point before I end the video, and that is that I've been reading a lot lately that the illness that shut down the economy is expected by many experts to taper off into the summer, but sharply rise into the fall. If that happens, that's going to possibly bring the economy to a screeching halt again, and with inventories at an all-time high right now, there's going to be nowhere to put it all. Now, if you think NAT storage rates were high a couple of months ago, then we haven't seen anything yet if that happens. The world needs to either find more storage fast or get to working on using up some of the inventories. And then the real wild card has to be all the political unrest in the United States right now. With tensions at an all-time high, the last thing the economy needs is more businesses being slowed or shut down just as it's trying to get its footing. And I'm glad I'm not a politician right now. So just to recap, I think the business conditions for NAT are still very favorable and could be getting better. And the chart currently also looks very constructive for a move higher. I wish my order would have executed when I was on vacation and I had some more shares right now. But that's how it always goes. When the stock goes your way, you're always saying, why didn't I buy more? But when it goes against you, you're asking yourself, why the hell did I buy so much of this dog? Okay, guys and gals, so I think I'll end the video right there. But before you go, remember to hit that like button so the video gets seen by more people and the word gets spread about NAT. Also, subscribe if you haven't already so you can see how the trade plays out in my future videos because I will definitely make more and keep you posted. Now, if you have any thoughts, opinions, or questions, please leave them in the comments section. I love hearing from you guys, and I read every single one of them. Now, as always, this isn't trading advice, only my opinions, so please do your own research. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Until next time, take care, everybody.